Good about this. morning. Well, when you've taken, you. I would imagine, thousands and thousands of pictures over the years, how yes. do you choose what goes in the exhibition and, and what misses out? Well, it's very, very hard to choose. Um, but in this case, um, because it's 30 years, uh, I'm doing pictures now, I thought it was great to shoot to choose my most iconic pictures from the beginning of my career until now. So um, I started with um, the first pictures I took of, of the girls like Claudia Schiffer and Naomi. And then uh, there's some pictures of my recent work I did mm. for a book called Heimat. Uh, I did with uh, Taschen. And then um, there's also some of my more provocative work. So it's, it's hard to choose, but you know, we had to bring it down to 30 pictures and here it is. <laughs> um, tell us how you started, because you were, you were a model yourself, weren't you? Yes, I was a model and um, I was modeling for 10 years, which was crazy, a very long time. And uh, at the end of my career, my boyfriend, I didn't know really what to do. My boyfriend gave me a camera. He said, there's a plus, a circle, and a minus. When the circle lights up, you shoot. <laughs> and that was kind of my <laughs> photographic crash course. And then I started to uh, shoot. I was still model. I went to um, Kenya on a modeling trip. And I started to shoot uh, kind of documentary style pictures in the villages and in the streets. And uh, when I came back, I had friends who had a magazine at the time. And I showed them the pictures. They were like, wow, Ellen. These are really nice, but you're a model. You're <laughs> supposed to be stupid. <laughs> How come you, you actually can be a photographer? And that was the beginning of, of my career. And then I started to uh, photograph my friends, my modeling friends. Mm -hmm. I made, made them up. I dressed mm -hmm. them up. And uh, I started to ch ch take pictures. And I got more and more passionate about it. Some of the superstars that you've um, worked with over the years, like uh, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, Kate Moss, some of those we mentioned, can you tell when you first see them? Is there something different about you know, them that makes them be catapulted to the sort of the, the supermodel role? Well, it depends, you know, like uh, Claudia Schiffer, I, I photographed her, actually German L asked me to, to do a picture with this German girl uh, and uh, what, uh, the story was like, what is she doing when she's not working? So she's like hanging out with her boyfriend, with a dog, in her house cooking. And I photographed her and I thought, oh, she's a beautiful, sweet girl, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, gorgeous. But uh, when I looked at the pictures, I noticed that she looks like Brigitte Bardot. And I was like, oh my God, because Brigitte Bardot for me is just one of the most beautiful women ever. So we kind of enhanced that Brigitte Bardot look on yeah. her, the eyeliner and the big hair. And uh, I think with this whole look, uh, it just became something people very much reacted to. So then I did the guest campaign with her and we shot in Nashville. It was kind of a Brigitte Bardot, Dolly Parton kind of story. And like people really reacted to the pictures mm. and it was like, you know, a surprise. Mm. And you don't know, you know, what touches people really before you do it. Um, I'm interested, um, do you think as a woman you get out something different from, you, something different from the models than perhaps a male photographer would? Yeah, I think everybody will get something different out right. of the same person. I think if you would put 10 photographers in the room, everybody would get something different out. But uh, already being a woman and also being a, that I was a model, you know, I kind of experience, we have like kind of the same, uh, uh, a different connection because mm -hmm. I know what they feel like. And, um, you know, it's also more like playing with friends. And you can see that in the photos. Do you think you can see that? I can see that in the photos. Do you think you can see it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's something playful about it and not too, there's always a little bit of humor and uh, women let go in front of the camera. They don't feel like they're, mm. they're being, you know, they're deducing, but it's more like playing and acting and mm. things like this. So are you quite um, conversational when you're taking the pictures? Are you talking all the time? How does that relationship work? Uh, yeah, I talk a lot. I talk <laughs> <laughs> we goof around a lot, you know, I have loud music. I explain what I want, you know, we always have a concept, but, but, you know, like a story. I love them, uh, you know, to my pictures to be a little bit of storytelling. And so uh, it's a lot of fun, really. Um, you're, some of the photographs are, you said yourself, provocative. And do you, I mean, do you like sort of pushing boundaries? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, as I say, you know, we have a lot of fun and if something happens or like, uh, uh, you know, then of course I push it because yeah. I think, you know, you have to kind of come up with something new and uh, groundbreaking and uh, it's more interesting. 
you know, you see so many pretty pictures in magazines and you'd put the magazine to the side and you forget about it. But when you have a picture in a gallery or in a book, mm -hmm. you know, it has to be a little bit more, you have to evoke some more feeling. Uh, you mentioned magazines, you're, you're launching your own one. Um, yes. what's, what's different about this? What's the idea behind it? Well, um, uh, you know, I worked in 30 years for, for, for magazines and it's great, And but often I'm a little bit frustrated because the stories don't come out exactly the way I want and, yeah. you know, there's people I want to photograph and they're not like, you know, magazines don't want them. So I was like, why am I not just doing my own thing? So <laughs> <laughs> Just be in control and then you can do what you like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So uh, I just launched my first uh, magazine called Ellen von und Vaughn, Vaughn, like Vaughn und Wert, my name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's really, I really want to shoot people I, 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 I'm fascinated by and uh, do stories I want to uh, tell and, you know, be a little bit more provocative, a little bit like, um, you know, the face and ID used to be uh, back in the 90s. I really loved those magazines. I want, I want to have a bit that flair. Tell us about this photo behind us because this one here with Kate Moss and David Bowie. Oh yeah, um, that was a really, really great moment. Uh, I was, of course, I was a huge, huge, huge fan of David Bowie, and who isn't? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was um, Out Magazine who asked me to shoot them together, and Kate Moss was just started, and it was like an amazing combination to have the two together. And um, the, the story was um, based on Blow Up, the movie blow up and uh, so David Bowie was a photographer and Kate was the model and um, they were just totally it was totally like we knew each other mm. yeah it was not like he, he was so amazing and charming he didn't make you, you feel like he's like he's standing in front of a superstar and uh, it was a really really fun shoot it's a wonderful photograph as are so many of the other ones thank you very much indeed for thank you to us thank you uh, exhibition ladyland opens yes. at the opera gallery in london and it starts on friday yep that's all from breakfast today have a lovely rest